Hello, let's explore OET together. I'm sure you heard the breaking news, or if you haven't heard, okay, you're hearing it for me for the first time. There's an OET on Paper Center in Ghana. Um, many of you have tried different type of English proficiency tests. Many of you don't even know there are other options, but I'm here to break it to you that there are so many other English proficiency tests you can take aside the most popular one, IELTS. Okay, let's go right and get this done. My name is Priscilla Kuma. I'm a nursing YouTuber. I share content on nursing migration and everything nursing. I live in the US as a registered nurse, a practice here. I run a consult, US RM pathway consult that we help midwives, general nurses, and psychiatry or mental health nurses who want to work in the USA. The paperwork is cumbersome, it's lengthy, stressful, frustrating, and expensive. And we simplify that for you at US RM pathway consult. Okay, English test. If you already live in the US and the state board of nursing you are using or choosing does not require English test, good news for you, you don't need this information. But most of my viewers, you happen to be watching me from outside the US and your goal is to work in the USA. Okay, and just to clarify, you do not need the English proficiency test before you write your NCLEX, which is the USA Nursing Licensure. No. You need an English proficiency test as part of your immigration process after you have passed the NCLEX, that is the USA Nursing Licensure. You need it for something called Visa Screen Certificate. And that will be used for filing your immigration for you. Yes. Did you get that clear? Should I take it one more time? Let's take it one more time. Do I need English proficiency test? For example, IELTS or OET, which we are talking about today. Yes, you do. You do if you live outside the US and the country you are watching this from, it's required for you to have it. There are some countries that are exempted. Canada, Australia, South Africa, they are all exempted. But if your country requires it, if they say because you schooled in this country, they assume your first language of study or communication was not English. So you need to produce an evidence of passing an English proficiency test because you're going to work in the USA where the language and mode of communication is done in English. Yes. So there are several types of English proficiency tests, as I mentioned earlier. And today we're talking about OET occupational english test this is an english test that is geared towards people in the health care sector as the information states on their websites yes so you've written ielts several times and you cannot get the score for uk and you cannot get the score for us and you are so frustrated you might want to write oet it's more expensive but that would be more occupationally oriented if you're a nurse, it's in your line. If you're a medical doctor, medicine, it's in your line. So that you might have a chance of doing better, okay? So OET has a paper option now. It's a computer-based test, but they have a paper option now in Ghana. I'm going to tell you the venue, the cost, and all you need to know about that. But normally, as you know, this channel would like to do evidence. So I'll show you the evidence on the screen as we go along. So let's explore OET websites together for any vital information like where can I take it? How can I book a test? What is the cost? What are the scoring grades and all? We're going to tackle all that. So breaking news, Ghana and its neighboring countries, if you don't have a center, you want to go to Ghana and write it. Nigeria, OET is taken there. So you don't, know, you don't need to come to Ghana to take it. So OET on paper is now available in Ghana. Yes, and this is good news. And I'm bringing it right to you. Okay, so we are on the OET website. You just want to type OET into Google and it will pop up or any other search engine. Occupational English test. That's what OET stands for. And as usual, I have my iPad here. So let's do this. OET. Why choose OET? There are different types at the top about. Why choose OET? OET is the English language test designed for healthcare sector, as I already mentioned. Healthcare professionals choose OET because it helps them prove they have the right level of English for work or study, while also learning the kind of language they would need every day at work. 
to the health organizations. Health organizations and regulators choose OET because it helps them to select healthcare professionals with the right level of English proficiency to deliver safe and high quality care. So, test information. If you want anything about the test, you'll find it on here. So let me just click on one of them, listening. Taking the OET listening test. The duration is 15 minutes. About the OET listening tab test. The OET listening tab test consists of three parts, a total of 42 question times, items. The topics are of generic healthcare interest and accessible to candidates across all professions. The total length of the listening audio is about 40 minutes, including recorded speech and pause to allow your time, allow you time to write your answers and you will hear each recording. Okay. Let's go to another tab, prepare. Prepare for OET. You want to just go there and explore all that you need to know about. They have free questions there as well that you can uh, sample questions that you can click on and see what to do. So you want to go to book a test. Since that's the focus of our discussion today, when you go on book a test, where would you like to take OET? So I'm going to just choose Ghana. So I've chosen Ghana and uh, it's going to give us the various venues. So if you're in Ghana or around Ghana, you want to take OET. You want to go to Accra, Ghana, the capital of Ghana, Total House, Accra, Greater Accra region, Ghana. That is OET on computer. If you want to do a computer-based test, OET on computer, you go to Total House. If you want to do OET on paper, you want to go to Wisconsin International University College, Accra, Ghana. Their address is there. They are at Agboba in the Greater Accra region. They have a phone number. So that is OET on paper. So you can book by clicking here to book online and get your test done. So you have OET on computer at Total House, Accra, Ghana. You have OET on paper at Wisconsin International University College. So you want to know how much is this at all? So let's see if we can find costs. So you're going to go to the Customer Care tab. How much does the test cost? So the test, the OET cost $587 Australian dollar, by the way, or US dollar, it costs $455. And this price is for those sitting for OET in the USA. The test costs another price down here, $587 or $455 US pricing for those sitting OET on computer. This is the price for those sitting OET on computer in the USA. For individual subtests only available for OET on paper, it says you re review the following information. So basically, to sit all four OET subtests. So how much does the OET cost for somebody who wants to write it outside the US? It costs Australian dollar five hundred eighty-seven to sit all four OET subtests. It also costs Australian dollar 477.50 to sit three OET subtests, including the Australian dollar $7 online booking. So the online booking is $7. And another Australian dollar 339 to sit two OET subtests, including the Australian $7 online booking. You can learn more about booking and cancellation and the cost here. So there's a link here. Let's click. And see what the link says you're watching from nigeria and you want to give the oet a chance let's see i'm gonna give you i did a video already about this same oet when um cgfns decided to accept it so i'm gonna come to that topic let's look if you're in nigeria is the same venue i shared it before in my previous video OET on computer in Nigeria. You want to go to Lagos, Nigeria. Dragnet Prometric Tech Center. Katia Gardens. I hope I did not butcher the name. I hope I got the names well pronounced. OET on computer for medicine and nursing only. You want to go to Lagos, Nigeria. Dragnet Prometric Test Center. And also International House Trust Assessment. Lucky. Oxbridge Tutorial College, Lucky. It's a phone number there for OET on paper. So yes, you can take OET on computer or paper, whether you're watching in Nigeria or you're watching from Ghana. The breaking news is that Ghana now has OET on paper 
and people think that is better because most of our assessments done in school are done on paper so that those are the two venues there's a venue for kenya as well so yeah look around wherever you are you can take oet so before you do that you want to know who accepts oet do not just go take it make sure that whatever you are using it for be it school or work that state in the usa accepts oet or the board you're using it for or the regulatory body you're using it for accept oet so they've gone further to help you with those who accept oet so you want to go to customer care and then there's a question that says who accepts oet i think so, so these are the 12 health care professions that can take oet you have dentistry dietetics medicine nursing occupational therapy optometry pharmacy physiotherapy podiatry radiography speech pathology veterinary science science so these 12 professions can take oet which countries recognize oet they have simplified it here for you australia obviously accepted list of investors that accept it as well are all here so if you're using it for school or work it's right there canada accepted ireland maldives malta namibia new zealand philippines qatar singapore spain ukraine united kingdom uae usa they accept oet so for my fellow nurses watching healthcare boards and councils that accept it CGFNS, as I said in the breaking news in my channel before, they accept it. So you can do OET on paper or on computer and CGFNS will accept it, yes. And um, Florida Board of Nursing accepts both OET on paper and on computer. Oregon Board of Nursing, Washington State Nursing Care Quality Assurance Commission, all test types. Michigan Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs Profession, Joseph Sinley and Associates, it's a credential evaluation service and they accept OAT, computer, or paper-based. Massachusetts Board of Registration in Nursing accepts both. Arkansas State Board of Nursing also accepts both. Yes, so if you are using any of these services, they accept it. Florida, Oregon, Arkansas, Massachusetts, Joseph Sinley accepts it. CGFNS accepts it. So my fellow nurses, you can do OAT if the IELTS is frustrating you. I've also always made this clear that if you're doing self-sponsorship, you do not need IELTS before your NCLEX. And you, the English proficiency test can inspire on you. So your main goal is to get the USA NCLEX that matters done first. Then after you pass, you can focus on your English test. Channel all that energy onto passing NCLEX because that's the harder one that doesn't inspire. Your license will expire you renew it just like wherever you're watching this your nursing license expires you have to renew it yes your usa nursing license can expire and you have to keep renewing it but a test for the english when it expires you have to take it all over again so i always recommend that focus on the licensure get that done get the english proficiency test because number one either your board requires it or number two you need it for immigration purpose because you live outside the u.s and you need visa screen certificate i'll be bringing you more content about visa screen certificates in the near future and it's very 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 important that you do your own research know what you're looking into know what you're paying for make the right decision do not let anybody convince you into doing anything this journey is expensive and you want to make it better the good news is that there's an OET paper in Ghana, Accra, and we are hoping that one day there'll be an NCLEX center in West Africa, be it Ghana, be it Nigeria, so that we all don't have to go to South Africa, where most Nigerians watching here don't have access to a visa to go to South Africa these days and end up going to Philippines and the neighboring countries, and it's expensive. So if you see a petition out there saying, sign this, let there be a venue for NCLEX in West Africa. Please do share that petition. Sign that petition yourself. My name is Chris Lakuma. I bring informative content back to back. And if you enjoy every content I bring, kindly do not forget to say thank you by clicking the thanks logo underneath this video. And say thank you to me. It ranges between $1.99 to $49.99. And also, 
the OET center, the link will be in the description box. Click this topic and you'll see the link. Go and spell for yourself. Whatever country you're watching from, check if there's an OET center around you and if they accept paper. If paper works better for you, fine. Look at the various listening, writing, reading sessions and the score required. I shared in my previous session, so I did not touch on that today. So go to the videos and find any relevant topic to your journey. And I wish you all the best. Until I see you again in another video, take care and love one another.